for Gaza Presents In Conversation With. I'm your host, David Batsoffen, and today my guest is one of the nominees for Safari Guide of the Year, and that's Wayne Howarth. And Wayne joins us all the way from the Eastern Cape. Wayne, good morning. Welcome to you. Good morning, David. Uh, great to be on your on your channel. It's a, a nice, uh, what, how could we say, a brisk morning in the Eastern Cape by the looks of things. It sure is a fresh one. Eh? The sun has just actually risen up behind me. And yeah, the, the nights here this time of the year are very fresh. It, the, the weather does drop very quickly in the evening. <laughs> um, which reserve are you going to be representing at Safari Guide of the Year, Wayne? Um, so, David, I'm currently guiding on Karicha Game Reserve, uh, so that's based on in the Eastern Cape. It's a mere hour's drive from Port Elizabeth. I'm in an easterly direction towards East London, okay. and we're roughly about, say, 10 kilometers from the ocean. So we've actually got views of the ocean from the reserve, too, which is pretty cool. Wow. So you've almost got the big seven, then. You've got all the five yeah. on land <laughs> and whales and sharks. <laughs> you could say so, Yeah. <laughs> Um, Wayne, how did you find out that your name had been put forward as a as a potential nominee for Safari Guide of the Year 2020? Um, so I was Sorry, uh, contact one. Uh, um, we forgot, <laughs> we've forgotten about the decade that was 2020. Yeah, no, we can basically scratch that year off the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I was actually um, well, the news was given to me by Skull Pretorius, who's uh, um, the he runs the Lovane Fogasa program. It's about 45 minutes from here. And my, my name was actually put forward by Jordan Davidson, who's an uh, ex-guide from Karicha Game Reserve. He's now guiding at San Bona in the Western Cape. And also Chris Reinecker, who's currently the ecologist here on Karicha Game Reserve, and he's guided all over South Africa. Um, previously to here, he was the head guide at Kichaka Game Reserve, which is also pretty nearby to us. And yeah, he's currently our ecologist in the area. He's also got a lot to do with Fogasa. It's, it's interesting that people don't see the Eastern Cape as a wildlife destination. Meanwhile, it is. And you guys have lots of reserves down there. Yeah, for sure. I think it's a, it's quite a new industry if you're comparing it to, you know, the game reserves up in the north. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it started a lot um, more recent. Or when I say recent, I say in the maybe in the 80s. Um, so it is quite a new thing, um, especially the private game reserves. Obviously, Shomari being the first one to start in the 80s. And since then, it's actually um, become quite a thing down in the Eastern Cape. And, you know, I always say, I think because we, we situated in quite a nice area towards the end of the garden route, it gives us quite a nice uh, positioning and location for the, the, the tourists that come over to South Africa. Hopefully they will return <laughs> in the Let's moment. Hope so. Let's at hope at so. the moment, <laughs> it's locals that you guys are, are trying to get into your reserves. What was your initial response when you received the news that uh, you were going to be one of the finalists? Uh, sure, David. I was I was shocked in a good way. <laughs> I'm very, very, obviously very, very honoured and and privileged to to be part of the whole thing and to be nominated. Um, yeah, I'd say that was basically basically my initial response was just a a really exciting um and feeling to be to be a part of the whole thing and to be nominated. How long have you been guiding, Wayne? Um, I started here at Karicha. Um, it was around December two thousand and ten. Okay. Um, so what does that give me about 11 years? 11 roughly, years. Yeah. Well, 10 yeah, if you yeah. take out 2020. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and are, are there going to be, I, I know that it's, it's quite sneaky for all, um, all the finalists find themselves in the same position uh, because the finals will be held at Moritaba, which is uh, in a place that none of you guys have ever guided before. Yeah, which yeah no, levels, exactly. It levels the playing field though. Um, so you're all in the same boat. Nobody can arrive there going, oh, I know this biosphere. I know what yeah, plants yeah. And, and animals we're going to find here. Um, so is there anything specific you're going to be focusing on between now and the end of June? Um, yeah, I think for myself, I'm going to spend a bit of time with a few, uh, you know, guides in this area that have guided up in that region and their, their knowledge of that area will be stronger than mine of course um, as I said I haven't actually visited that area before um, so yeah definitely planning on spending a little bit of time on them you know just to touch up on the the sort of more local common bird life geology um, you know the the flora fauna just touch up on some trees and grasses in the area just to get myself a bit more familiar with with what's going to be <laughs> um, or what I'm going to be encountering out there. I think the one the one tree that you will know the moment you get there is the speckworm because you guys have it in the Eastern Cape 
in yeah, we've got plenty of it here. <laughs> Yeah. Land, <laughs> Land Pup Villas. It's the only Latin name uh, tree for a la tree Latin name that I remember. Um, although the experts <laughs> will say that's not the right name. Yes, it is. If you've ever yeah. been to the wrong side of one of those thorns. Um, yeah. What do you believe is your biggest strength going into this competition? And it is a competition. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think, you know, one thing about me, it always sounds corny when a guy says this, but I've really got that real passion for the bush. I mean, I, I really, really enjoy it. It's, it's something I could spend all day doing out in the bush, just whether it's with, you know, with clients or other guides. Um, and then another thing with me, I think the patience makes a big difference. You know, often you have to have you have to have a lot of patience when you're out there on that vehicle with certain people. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say, I'd say at the end of the day, the, the passion for the bush is what, you know, is what I'd see as my biggest strength for sure. And your biggest challenge for that for those few days? Um, biggest challenge, I'd say what we touched on earlier, um, you know, guiding in an area that I haven't really been to before. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say that will be one of the biggest challenges, just kind of getting used to that habitat. Um, getting used to that area, you know, I'd, I'd say it's a little bit out of, um, it's for all the contestants, out of our comfort zone a little, especially for, for me coming from the Eastern Cape. Um, I think it's going to be a very different environment to guide in, but really, really looking forward to it. Well, Wayne, I wish you all the very best uh, as you prepare for Safari Guide of the Year 2021. And I look forward to meeting you in person um, at the event at the end of June. Thanks, David. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to coming up there and also getting to meet everybody involved. It's going to be, I think it's going to be an absolute great time.